What's up guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've got a new update here in Lumion Legacy. We've got weather and we've got a couple of new Lumions here as well. So I'm gonna show you how the whole weather thing works and I'm gonna show you how to get these new Lumions that are a part of this update. So this is the fully evolved version of what the new one is. Let's actually just go into mastery and I will show you just first of all in the Lum Lumipedia what we've got here. So first of all, thing that we're gonna try to find is called the Hydrini. You can sort of see, actually you can't see it because uh, uh, the update they haven't actually added the image yet, but they've got the Lumion in there. And uh, that's what it looks like. We will show you uh, catching that. We will show you the evolution of it into a Beezledew and what level to do that. And also, this is the final one right here, the Deludrix. And this right here is uh, the one that I've actually got and looks pretty cool looking, I think. If they do end up coming up with a saddle for it, it would probably end up being a pretty cool one. Uh, there's also this other one, this dinosaur one right here, the Colossotrops. So uh, if we want to go back into the mastery and see what we've got that leads up to this one, we are going to try to find ourselves a Ceratop first. I'm gonna show you how to get that. And then we're gonna also show you this evolution cycle into a Trepidon before it actually turns here into the uh, Colossotrops. So uh, it actually has the images here. So that's kind of a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't have the images. Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got the Hydrini image is actually showing up right now. So uh, in order to get the Hydrini, we're going to talk about this one first. This one might take a little bit of time. Remember how the Igneol was like one in 50? So this is sort of like that. And it took me over an hour to finally get one. Some people, you know, they've got more luck. Some people it might take longer. Some people not as much. But in order to catch one, you have to go somewhere in the wild where it is raining. So right now at this point, point uh, this is the first weather update at this point all they have is heavy rain and it's basically in real time like for me it's um, one it's uh, it's like 140 so if uh, it, for like another 20 minutes over in route 8 there's gonna be heavy rainfall but then there's gonna be a two-hour gap there where there's gonna be no rainfall and no ability to get it also you can see here it says the ampoule is acting strongly so I will show you kind of what's going on with those as well because if there's rain in a certain area and or acting strangely uh, when there is a certain Lumion that is acting strangely if you catch that Lumion uh, in the wild in that area where it's raining then that uh, that Lumion will have a positive personality trait it will have a higher likelihood of being uh, of having a secret ability and it will also have three of its UP stats that are at 40 so some perfect UP stats so uh, but you can actually still get better things you know just through rallying if you want to but that takes a little bit of time so it could be something that could be useful in PvP uh, but right now see uh, weather says route 8 it is, is experiencing rainfall so we're gonna go over there to route 8 so I think that's just a a little bit past uh, Sephirite City. Okay, so we've made our way here to Route 8. It says that it's raining out here somewhere in Route 8. So we're gonna go out here where we're exposed outside and as you can see, the weather is raining. So uh, when it's raining, this is how you catch a Hydrini. So again, uh, it takes very uh, a whole bunch of encounters before you get one, but you can see right here, uh, it said the ampoule was acting strangely. So if I caught this ampoule, it would have some pretty good stats. It would have a positive personality trait, could be a secret uh, ability, and it will have three of the traits that have 40. Right now I'm gonna run away because what we're talking about is how to get the Hydrini. So uh, the Hydrini is what you wanna get, but like I told you guys, it might take up to an hour, could take more, could take less time, uh, but yeah, the uh, chance of encountering it is actually pretty low. But when you do finally encounter it, this is going to be what it looks like over here. Uh, it's got some weird purple eyes and it's blue in color, pretty small. Uh, but of course, as always, if you want to try to catch something, it's good to have something with the move spare. Uh, if you want a certain personality type, it's better to try to encounter it, maybe with a Dusket that has a positive personality type and then have something with spare to get it down. Um, it also was pretty tough. I ended up using an ace disc after I wasted a whole bunch of advanced discs on it, but uh, who knows? So other discs might work better for you. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to keep this guy because it took me forever to finally find him. It took me a little bit over an hour. Uh, so what do you want to do here? Uh, by evolution or by power fruit, uh, both of them will help you evolve. Once this gets to level 26, you can see that this one right here is going to evolve. Uh, I don't think that this first evolution needs to be done in the rain, but the next evolution that we're going to show you at level 38, actually I think it was level 30, 
37 uh, actually has to be done somewhere where it's in the rain. Okay, so the hydro uh, Hydrini evolved here to the Bezel Dew, which to me looks like a drone a little bit. It looks like a flying drone, like if a little bit, you know? Just, just, just slightly, like those those quadcopters. Anyways, uh, so you can learn the move soft water when it does this evolution if you want, which is sometimes a pretty decent move, and you can see the other moves there. So here I am uh, doing the next evolution. I am in the rain here. Uh, I'm gonna do this with power fruit. You can just all evolve by battling, but I have plenty of power fruit, so I was gonna use these to do uh, this final evolution. So here it says after it grew to level 37 is when it starts does it, doing this evolution here uh, into the final form of its evolution and this will also help you with the mastery too once you do this and you do this second evolution uh, you'll have some of the mastery go up a little bit so your points will go up you might go up to the uh, depending on what level you are at um, but yeah here we go this one evolving right here into this guy which looks like a big uh, Firefly to me, but the uh, Deludrix, which is a pretty cool name, and it looks pretty cool. And I think if this one had some sort of uh, some sort of uh, ride or, or saddle, I think it might be pretty cool. But the move that it comes with now, this is an interesting move, Douse. So Douse is a move that it looks like if you hit an opponent with it, it is going to do some damage. But if you hit somebody who is on your team, it will actually heal them. So definitely something valuable if you're doing some 2v2 matches in the future with this guy. Okay, now in order to get the Ceratop, what you want to do is in the navigate, you want to navigate over to the Pollute Underwater Mining Lab. Of course, you got to make sure you're this far in the game to be able to go here. Uh, but in there, of course, this is where we do our hunting for fossils. So you'll need a UMV battery. You can get some of those uh, for free. Sometimes there's free dive times. And then there's also, you can buy the batteries. You can get them for the, through the mastery. There's various ways to get those, uh, but you can, uh, I think purchasing them, they're pretty cheap. I think if you want to get those, uh, you can get them uh, with Robux. You can get one with just 10 Robux, so it's not really too bad. Uh, so once you do that, you can go in here and you can talk to this person and you can go down and you can search for fossils. But there's a a certain set of new fossils if you guys haven't done this you whole uh, UMV thing you want to go to where the walls are and where the walls are you want to just basically uh, click where the shining areas are and you want to expose the fossils down here and anything that you expose you will actually get but you only get a certain number of times to uh, click around certain things so you might not get all the fossils before the whole thing collapses Okay, so uh, now we're gonna show you exactly what these three different fossils look like. Uh, sometimes, like, you might end up getting the same one. You have to get all three of the different ones in order to put together, like, a puzzle. Uh, I recommend just kind of hit in the different areas of the rocks, just kind of all over the place, and make sure you expose at least whatever is in there. And if you see one of these gold ones, basically focus on one of these. They're gold in color. They seem to have, like, a little gem on them, and something sort of red inside of them so that is the first one that you're actually going to go for uh so yeah if you guys see those just try to search around and see as much of what is under there if you see that it's not something that you need don't go for it like just keep searching uh because you're just trying to find these ones right now so this is the second shape here that you want to go for so that is uh two out of three of the shapes there's only three of them and it seems like they are a little bit more rare than some of the other ones uh maybe you know it's i had to use two batteries in order to get the three that i needed in order to make one of these but this is the third piece right there that is the middle piece as you can see they're all basically yellow with like a little sort of green thing but uh, once you get out of there you go around in this lab and you can over here put these pieces together and you can spawn certain lumians from the fossils so uh, this is how you put this one together all right so you got that piece right there and then this piece at the top and now you can uh, complete that whole thing it goes over there on the right you click on done and then when you click on done then it says that you've re revived a lumian from the paraliths and you can find it in lumian care so that's where you're gonna get this guy right here the ceratot uh so it looks like he could be a pretty tough guy i don't know it looks like this one already has three 
things that are level 40. Um, now this guy evolves Ceratot at level 27. So we're going to show you the evolution of this guy that happens at level 27. It doesn't really matter where you evolve yourself. Uh, it looks like if what you want to do basically is uh, just evolve anywhere. Uh, the, the best guy is the Sunburn guy. He's kind of the best guy to battle at this point for experience points. And of course, boosters help a lot. Uh, but the Ceratot right here, you can see, evolves into the Trepidon, which looks kind of like... Uh, just a smaller version of the next evolution of it uh, and at this point it can learn briar block so briar block is one of those fairly defensive moves that you can uh, you can use and these are some of these other moves you can see right there uh, not much like dino claws it starts out with but it doesn't look very powerful uh, so now here at level 38 here you can see uh, is when it does the next evolution so you have to do a little bit of training a little bit of battling with him to get him to level 38 to where he is going to evolve to this next guy who is actually pretty colossal which i think is where and how he sort of got his name uh the coloss colossosaurus no uh he, lo he looks much older now doesn't he i would call him colossosaurus but colossotrops he's like a triceratops basically so the trops comes from triceratops because that's kind of what he looks like and he's colossal uh but he's ancient and also plant type so uh there's several moves you can get in there i think look, he's got primal slash that's a good one this next one here with at this evolution timber thrash is very tough it's 120 strike but of course you damage yourself in the process so it's one of those moves that we're kind of used to uh but that is the final evolution of this guy Anyways, guys, that is how you get and involve this one right here, the Deludrix, and let's show you what the other one actually looks like. This guy looks pretty beefy, actually. Let's uh, put him in here so you can see what he looks like. This is the Colossotrops. He's a huge melee attacker. Looks like he is a bit of a tank. He is slow. Uh, I wouldn't teach him any range moves, though, if you're going to try to use him in PvP. But basically, just looks like a really cool-looking Triceratops. Uh, who is very angry for some reason. Anyways, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell, and we'll talk to you guys later.